Welcome to Yesu Mafra Downfall. It's a great and exciting channel. Hello guys and a happy and a glorious Easter. Welcome to Yesu Mafra Downfall. I'm Auntie Rajwa and it's always such a great, great joy to be in your homes or wherever you find yourself. I'm especially excited this morning because it's a unique morning because we get to learn more about the reason for Christianity, why Christianity is different because Jesus is risen. Guys, you want to know more? Stay tuned. We are going to learn more after the song. Let's meet Jesus, God's one and only son. He came to earth to save us, each and every one. Jesus, our King, the very best to be. One time he rode into the town, sitting on a donkey. Into Jerusalem, for all to see. People cheered and celebrated, waving palm tree leaves. Shouting, Hosanna, for the King had come that day. It's Jesus from Nazareth. After that, Jesus was crucified. He gave himself up on the cross, and then he died. But three days later, he rose from that grave. His tomb is empty, and our sins he forgave. He is risen, he is alive. Our Savior, our friend, our King Jesus is a okay. And now we celebrate Jesus, our risen King, who came to save us. And for this, we sing to amazing things, to many to count. Let's all sing it, dance and shout. He did amazing things, to many to count. Let's all sing it, shout it. Sing it, shout it out. Our memory verse for the month of April, John chapter 21, verse 17. Lord, you know all things, you know that I love you. Amen. Now, in our Ghanaian language, Asante Chi, Yohenia Sempa, Ete Dionubako, Itichemu Donso, Na Obuano say, Eradi, wunim adini na, wunim se me do. Amen. Welcome back, guys. So get your super books ready, get your Bibles ready. Like my Bible is here, and I'm super duper ready for today's Bible story. Our Bible story for today is titled Jesus is Rising. And our scripture text is taken from the book of John, chapter 20, verse 1 to 18. Now, Jesus is risen. How did he rise? He had to die before he rose. Now we're going to learn about the series of things that happened before Jesus died and finally he rose up from the dead. Now let's have a Bible story for today. Lessons from a Bible story. Recap of last week's lesson. The cross. Peter denies Jesus. Guys, Peter denied Jesus three times. He lied about not knowing Jesus. Yet, Jesus knew ahead of time and forgave him when it happened because of the love Jesus had for Peter. Peter also <laughs> wept bitterly. He was genuinely sorry for what he had done and repented from his sin. Guys, as Christians, we need to be able to stand for the truth no matter the consequences. 
And today's story, Jesus is risen. After they captured Jesus, they took him to Pilate and put a crown of thorns on his head and draped him in a purple robe. But Pilate found no fault with him. He handed Jesus over to the people and to the officers and chief priests and they cried out saying, Crucify him, crucify him, crucify him. They led Jesus to carry his own cross to the place of skull in Hebrew called Golgotha. Jesus was whipped, bruised, wounded and chastised. He was finally nailed to the cross with two other thieves. Through it all, he never said a word. He was like a sheep led to the slaughter. Jesus said he was thirsty. He requested for water, but the soldiers gave him vinegar. After receiving the vinegar, Jesus cried out, It is finished! <sighs> Jesus bowed his head and died. Guys, all of the blood from the crown of Jesus' head to the soles of his feet were drained out. With the final piercing of his side, it was all just blood followed by water that came out. Now Jesus' body was received by Joseph of Arimathea and was wrapped in linen with spices as was the custom of the Jews and was placed in a tomb in a garden. Now on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene rose up early in the morning to the tomb of Jesus and lo and behold, guess what guys, the stone of the tomb had been rolled away by an angel. She ran quickly and told Simon Peter and the rest of the disciples. Peter along with John with Mary Magdalene ran quickly to come see for themselves and when they saw it, they believed, but Mary Magdalene remained at the garden, remained by the tomb of Jesus. She saw two angels sitting at where the body of Jesus laid, one at the head and the other at the feet. And they said to her, Jesus is not here, he is risen, he is alive, hallelujah. Now guys, why did Jesus go through such torture and such a painful death? because of you and I, so that we sin no more, so that we don't tell lies, so that we don't steal, so that we are not disobedient to our teachers and our parents. And when we do sin, we confess our sins and the precious blood of Jesus cleanses us and makes us new. Guys, Jesus paid the price of sin and because of the stripes he received, we are already healed when we are sick so that our peace and our joy is restored. His death reconciled us back to God so that one day we can spend eternity with him and we can ask him all the questions we would want to ask him. Guys, when Jesus died, God raised him back to life with a glorified body. And with this hope, we know that one day when we also die in Christ, God will also raise us up with that beautiful and glorified body. Now, Jesus suffered for others. He wasn't selfish. He loves us so much that he didn't think about himself, but others, you and I. What can you do for others? We can pray for others to receive Jesus into their heart, to give them the new life and save them from eternal death. It isn't every day we should pray for toys, money, shoes, or nice clothes. But let this be our everyday habit to pray for others in our families, in our neighborhoods, in other countries or continents who may not know Jesus. Now say this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I thank you for your death on the cross. Let others get to know you. Let others from other countries and other continents who do not know you, let them know you. Let them live for you. Let them have you in their heart so that they can live with you forever and ever. In Jesus' name, amen. Guys, as we celebrate the death and the resurrection of Christ, it is the best time to talk to Jesus. Have you spoken to Jesus today? Remember that Jesus lives in your heart. He's at all places at the same time. And he has so, so much to hear from you at all times. Shall we pray? 
Father, we thank you for this morning. We thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for the opportunity to see such a unique and a glorious morning as this, even as we remember and celebrate your resurrection and your death. Father, we thank you for such a great sacrifice on the cross for us, that because of that we have salvation, because of that we have healing, because of that we have joy, and because of that all the blessings that God has for us have been restored. But I thank you for every child watching me right now, that you bless them, that you help them fulfill their individual destinies in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, as you died and you rose up on the third day, we pray and ask that anything that is dead in our individual lives, Father, may you raise them up from the dead. May you raise them up from the dead. May they receive life in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you that you are Lord. We thank you that you are alive. We thank you that you're the same yesterday, today, and forever. And you are unchangeable. You are immutable. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Guys, what a beautiful resurrection. What a beautiful and glorious story. Now, as we celebrate this Easter period, remember that Jesus is is the reason for the season and the benefits of this redemption because of Jesus's death and resurrection we have joy we have healing we have so many blessings we have the opportunity to have salvation and the opportunity to spend eternity with Jesus one day Jesus will be returning will you be ready guys I hope you enjoyed today's lesson and you learned something new as you celebrate this Easter period be good boys and good girls I'll see you next time. Until then, have a glorious Easter. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Yes, Mofra Dumbo.